In this video, we're going to talk briefly about examining the model fit, and in particular, R-squared type measures. In a separate video, we talked about some of the concepts of these R-squared type measures. Now we're going to look at getting a few of them from R. The first one we can look at is the idea of the pseudo R-squared, which is conceptually the same as the idea of the R-squared from linear regression. So let's ask for a summary of the model that we were working with. And we can see for this model, if you recall, the null deviance was the same idea as the total sum of squares. The residual deviance was the same idea as the sum of squared error. So in linear regression, the R squared would be one minus the sum of squared error divided by the total sum of squares. Or this here, one minus the unexplained error divided by the total error, which is gonna give us the explained error. But if you recall, the idea of having deviance and calculating R squared this way is not the exact same as the interpretation it has for multiple linear regression, where the R squared is the percentage of variability in Y explained by our model. So that's why the pseudo R squared is sometimes mentioned, but it's not used in the same way that R squared is for linear regression. Now we can also have R pull those directly from the model. We can ask R to go into the model, pull out the deviance, that would be the residual deviance, divided by pull out the null deviance. Now what I'd like to do is use a package in R that can get us some of these and other R squared type measures. So what we're gonna do is fit the logistic regression model using the LRM command that's in the RMS package. And we've already seen the use of this a bit earlier in some of these videos. So among other things, this is gonna return a bunch of R squared type measures. So the first thing you'll need to do if you haven't already is install the RMS package. And if you've already installed it, you don't need to install it again. And just a plug for this package, it's an extremely useful package. RMS is Regression Modeling Strategies. So it has a ton of useful commands and it has a textbook that goes along with it. So let's load the library. Now what I'm gonna do is first fit that model again using the glm command. So this is what we've already done so far. So now I'm gonna fit the same model, but using the lrm command. So this is for logistic regression model. And this command comes from the RMS package. So it's gonna fit the exact same model as what we did here. And I'll mention this y equals true, x equals true, allows us to get some goodness of fit tests returned to us as well. I'm not gonna talk directly about those in this video, but I wanted to mention that there's an option there. And then finally, I'm just gonna show you, I'm gonna fit it the same way using the LRM command, but I'm not gonna use this x equals true, y equals true, just to show you that if you do that or not, you're gonna get the same model output. So let's fit that. Now I just wanna confirm that these three ways all gave me the exact same model. So I'm gonna to bind together the coefficients that I got from the model when I use the glm command. When I fit the model using the lrm command and that x equals true, y equals true. And the model I fit when I did not put x equals true, y equals true. So let's look at that. So this is just confirming for us that regardless of which syntax or which command we use, we get the exact same model coefficients so we fit the same model. Let's look at the output that we get from the LRM command. So to do so, we can just type in model.lrm. And we can see here there's a bunch of output. So here's the model coefficients, their standard errors, along with their p-values. So this looks very similar to the output we'd get using the glm command to fit the model. But we get some additional info that we can see up here. So we also get this model likelihood ratio test. And what this is, is a test of the overall significance of the model. Is our model better than no model at all? So we looked at this earlier in the course. Our model is statistically significant. And then we can see over here some R squared type measures. So I won't go into explaining all of these, but I'll point out some of them. This C index is the area under the ROC curve. So this is one that some people are often familiar with. This is called Sommers D. This is the Goodman Kruskal gamma and Kendall's tau or Kendall's tau A. So these are all different R squared type measures. Then over here we have some others. This is Nagel-Kirke's R squared. We get the Breyer score. We get the G index, the GR index, and the GP index. So if you're interested, you can read a little bit more about what all of these are. They're all slightly different measures of model fit or they're all R squared type measures. Probably one of the more common ones to see reported is this area under the curve. Although it's worth noting that they're all slightly different. There's not one that's agreed on as being universally the best measure of model fit. And that's why the GLM command by default does not return any of these 